Being a perfectionist sucks, so don't do it. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Austin and I am a junior here at the University of Texas. Today's video is going to be about how to not be a perfectionist in college because I think that is something that a lot of us struggle with. So if you are excited for this journey, please like and subscribe. It helps me know that I'm doing something right here and let's get right into the video. Being a perfectionist is something that has been instilled in us since we were little. Especially here in America, I feel like we put so much pressure on ourselves to study information by just memorizing it for the test and then move on, forgetting all about everything that we had learned, which is not true learning in my opinion. And I think that a lot of people will agree with me on that. In college, I feel like it doesn't achieve the same goal. Memorizing things just to memorize it is not going to grant you success in the long term because for people who are studying to be doctors or lawyers, um, you aren't just memorizing things just for the heck of it. You are supposed to be absorbing this information. The knowledge that you're gaining is supposed to stick with you for the rest of you know your life if your career is going to be in that field. So although grades do matter, I believe the knowledge that you gain is more important and invaluable in the long run. Not to mention that being a perfectionist is very toxic for your mental health and your self-value. I think freshman year especially, I had this one test uh, and I didn't do as well as I thought I would do. And when I didn't meet that standard, I really like broke down. I was like, I don't know how I'm gonna recover from this. I don't know how I'm going to get back from this. Relying on this perfectionist attitude, low key makes you think low of yourself actually high key it's such a bad cycle of okay I have these high expectations and I'm gonna work really hard on it um, but then when I don't hit that expectation which is like nearly impossible for the most part um, you go into this cycle of oh I'm not good enough I am not worthy enough I didn't work as hard as I was supposed to um, I suck I'm a failure when in reality these high standards that we set for ourselves give us no room to fail and the only way to truly succeed in life is to learn from your failures, learn from your mistakes, build on those because those things build character um, and ultimately help you work harder and, and put more effort into things that you're passionate about. In high school, of course you have this mentality of, I need to do my very best so that I can get into these really top tier schools. But once you're in college, it really doesn't matter as much anymore. The other day I was scrolling through TikTok and I saw this video talking about how being a perfectionist destroys productivity. It was by this guy named Josh Terry and basically he was saying trying to do things well is the barrier that holds us back from doing things to begin with. We're so afraid of failure. We're so afraid of not meeting our expectations it's to the point where we won't even start. Just take for example me making these videos. I wouldn't say that I am at all an expert on making videos or even talking in front of the camera. But if I let that perfectionist attitude run my life, I wouldn't even have started a YouTube channel because in reality, I want to do things well, right? That perfectionist mindset tells me I want to do things well and if I can't do it well, then why do it at all? I want to break free from that and so that I can ultimately practice because practice makes perfect. The more I do something, the better I will become at it. And that takes time, that takes failure, that takes um, the building of character that a perfectionist attitude cannot give you. And so that's encouragement for you to just break free from that perfectionism and just work on being productive. Hard work and dedication are really important things, but one thing that college has taught me is that if you put your self-value and self-identity and your worth in school, then once you graduate, you're gonna be lost because you didn't really learn anything. You didn't engage with your classmates. You didn't go hang out with friends because you put so much effort and time and your energy into this one thing, and when that thing ends, you're not gonna have 
anything to hold on to. You're not gonna know who you are. If there is one thing that you take away from this video, remember that there is balance to everything in life. Though a perfect equilibrium may never be achieved, whether that be through balancing school and social life, freedom and following the rules, or whatever you may struggle with personally, just know that pursuing balance should always be at the top of your mind. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like and hit that subscribe button. I will see you in next week's video, next week, or maybe sooner than that. I don't know, I might have something in the works. College game day? Maybe. Alright, keep awesome weird everybody. I will see you next week. Peace.